one face cam. Hey everybody, Herb Lakes here, and it is Friday the 13th. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. Check it out. How you doing? Good to see you. Happy Friday. Hi. We are back at the drawing board, and we've got Nick Birch over my left shoulder. I've got my Hello. Austin Blades over my right shoulder. Yo. And it's Friday the 13th in October, so we're going to have some fun today. we got some we got some spooky, well, not really spooky, but some funny stuff to do with Snow Bear, I think. We're going to do that today. Um, we're going to get into some drawing here in just a minute, but we also got some really cool sales that I want to talk about. First of all, our uh, our dollar sale on my character design course is still going on. People are really snatching that up. Once again, I want to emphasize that it's only out for uh, it's only down to a dollar for a, a, a limited time. And then we have to put it back up again. But um, if you're interested in character design, it's a 16 hour course uh, with over with 20 videos and uh, uh, it's actually over 20 videos. It's, it's 20. over 20 yeah. videos. Yeah. Oh. It's over 20. I have no idea how many. It could be 140 videos. I don't know. It's 23. <laughs> it's, it's 23 videos. It just sounds better to say over 20 for some reason. So uh, what, what else do we have going on there? So we've got a couple of things. Uh, our animation courses are still on sale for $10 or less. That was originally only going to be last weekend, but we are extending that through this weekend. So if you still want to get... Um, uh, any of our animation courses for $10 or less. This is your last chance to do that this weekend. And if you head over to creatureartteacher.com this weekend, we're running, since it's October 13th, we're running an October 13th Lucky 13 sale. There you go. Yeah, if you head over to creatureartteacher.com and enter promo code LUCKY13 at checkout, you will get 13% off your entire order. That's an additional 13% off. To the sales yeah, so the minimum order is five dollars to apply that. But if you head over to creatureartteacher.com and use promo code Lucky13, you can get that order. Also, you see that image of the creature there? That's an image Aaron did last year, and that is available as a print as well, along with a couple of past Halloween ones. So you, from the black tube. you can get that for 13% off or a mug or whatever have you. But let's let's dive into some drawing and, and tell them what we're doing today. Well, here's a little drawing that Snowbird is doing right now. I figured I'd do a little sketching for the folks on TikTok while we were talking about some of our ads. And uh, so, speaking of that, so as we were talking about, hey, it's Friday the 13th, let's come up with a Friday the 13th image. And I am so neck deep in Snow Bear, I just started thinking about Snow Bear. Snow Bear, for those of you that don't know that are watching, um, Snow Bear is the animated short that I'm creating. This is Snow Bear right here. He's a polar bear, and he lives in the Arctic, and he's looking for a friend and no one wants to be his friend. He's a polar bear. He's scary. And so he's really lonely. So he decides to make a snow bear for a companion. And it's the kind of the adventures that he and his, his snow bear friend have. And so we're thinking, okay, so what, what can we do for, for uh, Friday the 13th? So I was thinking, okay, there, there's a whole movie series with Friday the 13th. And the whole idea is that... Our, our polar bear and our snow bear, uh, Glenn is the name of our polar bear, and they 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 just constantly coming up with games and things to do. Snow, uh, our our polar bear poses our the snow bear in different positions. So we've got, whoops, we got uh, right here. We've got these, this one right here, <laughs> the rough skits where they are literally playing right in the thirteenth. There's that one which I think is really funny, and then we've got another one where we flip it. <laughs> this, one's, this one's a lot more morbid and uh so we wanted to put it out to you guys what do you guys think i should finish should i do this one or should i do this one so let us know in the comments if you want the 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 one where snow bear is chasing glenn that one there put number one put a number one in the comments and if you want the other one, put a number two in the comments. So right. number one, this one, this one spent more time on the sketch. So don't judge the sketch, just judge the idea. Yeah, so it's number one or number two in the comments. So Let us know. Okay. Number, number two. Here is number one. Number yeah. one. Or number two. 
We're getting a good mix of votes in the comments. Let's see what we end up with here. Quite quite a few twos. Quite actually a lot of twos. Okay, number two? Yeah. We're number one. Oops. Let me get rid of this. Two, 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 two. Oh, a lot of twos. Yeah, I think we're uh, on TikTok. We're I think uh, two is getting. Uh, oh, right. I think two is getting the big bow on on TikTok. I thought they would like. I thought they would like the. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing twos, ones. Uh, it looks like more twos so far. It's definitely two. definitely more twos. I think on YouTube. I think everyone. I think a lot of folks are want to see the the, the grimmer side. People <laughs> like that number two is edgy. 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 <laughs> I think we're going with number two, Aaron. Number that two? Seems to be the... right, number two. Let's go poop. Maybe we'll do both. <laughs> number two. Numero doso. Number one. Number one. All right. So is it number two? Officially? Yep. I think it's officially number two. All right. All right. There we go. Oh, some people are saying, boo, I want the cute one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what? These aren't too hard. I might just do both. We, we can always do both. I'll do it. I don't know that I can do both today, but uh, we'll definitely do a version. There we go. So there it is. I think this one's kind of cute too. I love, I love this idea. So I think I'm going to do this one as well, and uh, we'll post it later. But let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to close that up. And let's turn this on. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little sketch over the top of it, tie down the drawing, and then we're gonna get the painting. <clears throat> Half Warrior on YouTube says the head position in number two really gives it a menacing impression. Oh, the, the, that the little side, side tilt blend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We thought the same thing. That's I purposely drew them that way to get that attitude. Because when you look at when you look at all the reference, I looked at a bunch of reference of Jason Voorhees, mm -hmm. and uh, he's always kind of got that really weird menacing kind of stance I, I do think a lot of people are judging it on the finished sketch though because they're like yeah number number two just looks better and i'm like yeah they, you're yeah but, yeah we literally thought of the other one five minutes before we came on so i just scribbled it out this one i actually worked on for a while so that's why i was saying judging on the idea not the sketch because i can i can definitely make the other one pretty so for people just joining us, it is Friday the 13th. So Aaron decided to do a little Friday the 13th inspired uh, Snow bear. Yes. drawing here. And we thought we'd have some fun with it. Friday the 13th in October, you know, you gotta, you gotta have you gotta fun with it. You got, you gotta, you just gotta, it's, it's, it's a tradition. Yep. Uh, and actually, as a result, we're running on our website, CreatureArtTeacher.com. We're running a Lucky 13 sale. If you use promo code LUCKY13, you'll get an additional 13% off your order. That's any art courses, books, mugs, anything like that. Photoshop brushes, artist reference photo packs. <clears throat> and the origin of that is my dad's birthday was Friday the 13th, and he always said that 13 was his lucky number, so I figured, oh, right okay, you know what? And I know a lot of people 13. feel that way, so it doesn't have to be... Uh... Today is Mariana Cesar's birthday. Oh, it is. Marco Cesar, who is our Croatian animation friends. Who, fun bit of trivia, he does the voice in Brother Bear, right? Yeah, he does the Russian, well, it's, we, want it, we, we want it to sound Russian, but he's actually speaking Croatian. And Brother Bear, he's a great animator. We've known each other 30 years. And it's his lovely wife, Rihanna. It's her birthday. And actually, another person uh, in the TikTok uh, by the name of Bree says, I was born on Friday the 13th. Oh. Um, yeah, I was born and, in a crossfire hurricane. And uh, someone by the name of Sora on TikTok asks, uh, since you're left-handed, have you ever tried moving... The layers and color color panels to the left side. Um, you know that's funny. No, I never have. <laughs> it might be easier. I don't know if I did that now, it'd be all discombobulated. Yeah, do you, after after a certain point, it just becomes muscle memory. Yeah, that's funny. Well, it's funny you don't even use the color picker on the right hand side. You just no, do that I don't use. But like the layers is because I'm always reaching over myself. Yeah, but I've just gotten so used to it, I've never even thought of moving it. Hmm. <laughs> 
Someone by the name of uh, Hex comments, Oh my gosh, his little mask. This is adorable. <laughs> Yeah, the little bear hockey mask. <laughs> Let's see, we got people watching on Instagram. Let's see. Hey, Instagrammers. Hello, uh, this is a question. Going, eh? This is a question not related to. Uh, oh, Dion says, "Dude, today's my birthday too. Happy birthday, Dion!" Yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Dion. Um, and uh, caffeine cattle woman wants to know what does the how to draw horses course consist of? What's included in that? Uh, it's all about how to draw horses. Next. <laughs> no, it's, um, I take you through all of the anatomy, uh, the musculature, all of that. Then I take you through how to draw the head, how to draw the, the front legs, how to draw the back legs, how to draw the body. And we bring it all together into full body drawings. Uh, I cover feet, hooves, uh, foals. I talk about young horses. Uh, we do caricatures of horses. Then I take you through and show you how to animate a walk, a trot, and a run, or a canter, or a gallop. And you have the completed animations as uh, uh, as gifts in the uh, bonus files. Yes. So there's it's full of a lot of stuff. Just go on the website and uh, click on the, the course, and you'll see. I think it shows everything that's included, right? It does, yep. Yeah. Josh Atlas says, uh, my mom's birthday today, but she does not like it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Ms. Atlas. He says, uh, um, I like having a Friday the 13th birthday. It's different. Yeah. <laughs> An invisible lizard says, birthday gang? <laughs> uh, Julia on TikTok asks, how long did it take you to draw at your professional level? I'm, you know, I'm learning still. I, uh, my drawing evolves and changes and, um, it's funny when I really get into drawing a lot, like I'm doing right now, when I'm creating a uh, snow bear and, and uh, I'm doing a lot of these TikTok lives where I'm drawing at night. I'll, it, it's, it's, it's like uh, working out, working a muscle. It gets stronger and stronger, and I find my drawing muscle gets stronger and stronger. Hey, put your microphone on. Oh, yeah. Sure. Someone just texted oh. Steve texted and said, You sound distant and tinny. There we go. Sorry, guys. I forgot to put my mic on. <laughs> What are you doing? What am I doing? Dang it, Bill. Uh, we just got a, a few folks just now uh, asking, what monitor display are you using? This is a Wacom Cintiq 32 Pro. Now, they don't make the 32 anymore, but they do have a 27, I believe, or a 24. Um... I love this pen display. This, it, like I said, it's made by Wacom. I've been using Wacom products for 20 years now, and uh, I've never had an issue with them. I really love them. And uh, I cleaned my screen, by the way, today. Oh, you did? It oh, is yeah. so nice. Yeah, because there is so much dried spit all over my screen. <laughs> From all your talking. All my talking is just covered in dried spit. And uh, you would think there wouldn't be much texture from dried spit. But there is. You it was like drawing on sandpaper because of all the spit. Huh? <laughs> yeah, they don't make the 32 anymore. The biggest they have now is a 27, but I think it's actually the same amount of... Um, oh, yeah, they got rid of a lot of the... The bezel, the bezel is gone, so I think it's actually the same... Image size? Draw, same drawing area as the 32, basically. Oh, that's cool, if that's the case. I well, absolutely love this size. So the frame from quarter corner is 32, but the screen itself is more like a 27. Yeah, and I'm not going to lie. I mean, these aren't cheap, but this is my profession. I do this every day. And I'm at my desk 8, 10, 12 hours a day sometimes. And uh, yeah, so you I, like having the, I like having the best products available. And to me, this really is the best product available. For people who want to see that are watching on the other channels here, let me, uh, Dustin, go to the... Uh... Yeah. You got enough enough line there so sorry for the motion sickness folks <laughs> so you can see, you can see the amount of screen i've got all right back to the desktop let's 
someone requested we do it. So, okay. Well, there you go. Aspen, you shall receive. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, Danny Carson has a merch question. Could you add a lion or horse mug to your store? I would definitely buy that. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Have All right, fun. Chad. Okay. Enjoy. <laughs> uh, is there like a kind of app you're working on? This is Photoshop. Photoshop. I am working in Photoshop. I have the Adobe uh, um, um, I'm paying for Adobe. <laughs> I can draw my mind's I'm trying to draw my mind's blank. Subscription. I kept wanting to say prescription. I have the Adobe subscription. It's, so I get the entire suite. Another thing that we use a lot. I think someone's asking, is this Bigfoot or Sasquatch from a, from a Goofy movie? This is Snow Bear. This is our character, Snow Bear. He's a polar bear. And uh, he's usually not this morbid. He's actually a sweetheart. But he's like Calvin and Hobbes. You know, he's him and his, uh, his um, Snow Bear friend are always out playing different games. Um, Jesus on uh, YouTube says, did you ever work with Eric Goldberg in your career? Yes, I know Eric Goldberg very well, actually. Eric directed Pocahontas. He did. Of which you were one of the animators of Pocahontas. Yes, absolutely. And you worked on other films together, like Aladdin. And... Yeah, so Eric Eric and I, shoot, we've known each other for 30 years. Have you started selling your uh, art boxes that your father made? No, we're not. we haven't sold those yet. I'd like to uh, sell them soon. There's a couple of things still I want to do with them, and he's coming back in a couple of weeks. So when he gets back, um, we're gonna we're gonna get back on that. Twitch question: Have you always had your screen tilted up so much? Over forty five degrees feels weird to me. Yes, I've always done it this way. I like drawing this way. Uh, it keeps my uh, it keeps me from using my wrist too much, so therefore I don't get carpal tunnel, and it keeps my it keeps my neck from getting tired and it keeps my shoulders strong baby yeah for some people watching on instagram i, I don't know why this happens sometimes but sometimes the audio cuts out on instagram and you just have to leave the live and come back in not sure why that happens. oh really it just cuts out yeah i've had a, seen a few people say that over time hmm. strange That's strange. Uh, did you ever get to meet Eartha Kitt? You know, I, I wish I could have, but no, I didn't. I didn't get to meet her. She makes. She was such a great Isma. We were just talking about that the other night. I think Isma is one of my favorite villains of all time. <laughs> Pull the lever, crunk. <laughs> <laughs> She's so funny. She was so funny. Such a unique voice he had. Too. Oh my God, she was great. Facebook question: How long did you work on Mulan, Aaron? I was on Mulan for about a year and a half. About about that, about a year and a half of with uh, you know uh, designing my characters and then animating. And then after Mulan, I went on to direct Brother Bear, and I was on that for about six years because I you know, started writing it and then uh, started, you know, we started making it. And the making it took, uh, I think it was 24 months, 24 months schedule we had. So yes, I spent four years just getting it ready to be made. I want to let people know that we have new mugs out at creatureartteacher.com. Well, they're new within the last couple of weeks. We've got six designs available six different designs available in three different sizes each if you go to creatureartteacher.com slash mugs you can order them and you can use the lucky 13 promo code and take 13 percent off your order this weekend only if you use promo code lucky 13 you can take 13, an additional 13 percent off any order. lucky number 11. <laughs> no 13 13 lucky lucky 13. 
Uh, Gustavo asks, what's your favorite Halloween slash horror movie? Um, I love, love, love the entire Aliens uh, series. But of the Aliens series, my favorite is Alien 2. Yeah, Aliens. Plural. Aliens. Game over, man. Game over. I, I've watched that movie a hundred times, and I could watch it a hundred more. Yeah. I, as much as I love that, that franchise as well as the Predator franchise, when it comes to like a, specifically a Halloween movie, I have to go with Ernest Scared Stupid. <laughs> I you loved that when that you were a kid. All the time. I remember when you watching were a kid. all the time growing up. That's another movie Eartha Kit uh, stars in. Oh, is she in that? Yeah, she is in that. She she acts as the she's the uh, um, the witch. Oh, I didn't know that. A Voss Marionette on YouTube says, "Hey, Aaron, I uh, have face blindness, so drawing emotions and expressions has always been a struggle for me. But your videos and lessons have helped me improve greatly. I uh, just wanted to say thank you for helping me overcome my disability to some degree." Oh, thank you. Thanks for saying so. I've got refrigerator blindness. What? <laughs> I go to the refrigerator and I can't find stuff. It's because your refrigerator is full <laughs> of 500 condoms. <laughs> but thank you very much for saying so. You know, the worst is when you're like, where you're trying very hard to look for that one item and you just can't find it, can't find it. And the moment you give up looking for it, it's right, right there, in, there front. in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, dang it. Uh, what do you do when you lose motivation? You know what? I don't lose motivation. I um, Now, there's some times where I get maybe a little art block here or there where, where I sit where I want to create something, but I don't know what I want to create. In that case, a lot of times I'll watch a documentary. Excuse me. I just had lunch. I'll watch a documentary. I'll go out and uh, take a walk in the park. Um, or I'll sit down and just draw through my art block. I literally will just sit down and start drawing characters or animals or whatever and it loosens me up and it gets me rolling again uh soren on youtube asks so you were regularly working with disney work during your career or was it on a contract basis i graduate school soon so i want to be prepared as a future animator i i was a contract i was no, there you full were time an, you were an employee i was employed under contract yes i was right. there full time um and I, you know, the contract was for you know for salary and vacation and things like that. Yeah, he was not a freelance contract. I wasn't a freelance contract. No. Right. Now, <laughs> Disney, I don't think. I guess they do some freelance, right? It depends on the project. Oh yeah, we I, we actually did a lot of freelance. Okay. We uh, we and Disney still hires out, but it's all pre-production stuff. They'll they'll hire freelance, um, uh, inspirational, you know environmental design stylistic design that sort of thing you know what i can't remember is uh what is jason Voorhees? what does jason Voorhees' face look like or his mask you're pretty close i think sometimes oh, so it's got these it's this it's, yeah it's got the little red marks on it there it is there it is. Okay, so it's kind of a scuffed up white beige with the red. Got it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> almost like a wood, almost like a wood kind of tone. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Do you have any tips for long, long term projects? T tips on long term projects. I'm I not think... sure how to work on something that's like a long project. You, well, what you do, the biggest, the best thing you can do for long-term projects is you set small goals. You've got the ultimate goal of finishing it, and then you set small goals, goals in order to finish it, right? So um, I always say that like animating a, a, a feature or, or even a 10-minute short like we've got now because I'm the only one doing it, it's a, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. So you got to take your time. Be patient, set those small goals, and set up a um, kind of a, a, a production schedule. That's a big part of it, too. So that, you know, when you're setting those goals, you set up the production schedule and you achieve your little quotas and everything that's going to help you get to the end. And then you just chug along, just like the little engine that could 
and you just fight your way there. You know what? I think we should show some of these drawings you did last night. Oh, yeah. Because you did some stuff that you've never done before. Yeah. I did, actually. So, so we've been doing these kind of impromptu live streams over on uh, Aaron's TikTok. And if you want to follow him there, it's just Aaron Blaze Art on TikTok. And so he's been doing a lot of drawing at the Disney desk where I'm sitting at the moment. And last night... He drew some Disney characters. Usually he only draws his own characters, but he was feeling froggy and took I a quest. felt froggy. And froggy. Uh, we drew some draw he he drew some drawings of characters that he's never drawn before. So let's uh let's show them over on the you'll have to show them right here. Okay, I'll pull them up. You have to go to the face cam, Dustin? Yes. So what do we got? So for those that are watching on TikTok, we got Stitch. So there is Stitch, I, I can't tell yeah, if it's... Good. You're good. Yeah, you're good. yeah, that's Stitch. That's the first time I ever drew Stitch. I think he came out okay. I enjoyed doing that. And then we got... What else? Oh, it's Zazu. I've never drawn Zazu. Zazu is animated by the great Ellen Woodbury, who's also an amazing sculptor. She and I have uh, done some shows together where I had paintings and she had sculptures in the show. But Ellen uh, was the supervising animator and designer of Zazu. Show the and that's your first oh, time drawing yeah. Zazu? Yeah, there's Zazu right there for those on TikTok. And then who else we got? Oh, we got Das Winnie Dapu. Yeah. Winnie Dapu? So we've got Pooh. We got different versions of them. We got the Stretch and we've got the Squat. Whoops, sorry. We've got the Squash. So I was, I was basically showing how squishy he was. I was doing that as a as a uh, demonstration. So there's the squash. There's the stretch for those on TikTok. And there he is normal. You can feel that up and down. So, yeah, and I've never drawn poo either. So that was fun. We're going to do a challenge. We're actually going to... Uh, we've been talking about doing a... Uh, I want to set up, you know, the reference for 100 Disney characters, and uh, and try drawing them. I'll give you. Let's, okay, so 100 Disney characters in 100 minutes is insane, but we got to come up. With I something. think I think if we give ourselves uh, maybe two and a half hours, I think I can do it, or okay. even three hours. I want to run a clock, and it's okay if you go over. I just want to see how close you can get. I think if we, if you gave me. If you gave me uh, two minutes per character, well, it's gonna, it's good, yeah. I mean, it's gonna, yeah, two minutes a character, so two hundred minutes, whatever that works out to be. How can we turn two hundred minutes into, or just three hours? We can just say three three hours is one hundred and eighty minutes. But darn it, Aaron, I'm trying to do the one hundredth birthday of Disney, one hundred characters. So the number. Has oh, and. Oh, I see. I didn't realize that. Duh. Duh. Uh, is there anything you have uh, tried to draw but just couldn't? No. I can draw anything. <laughs> oh, seriously. Look what you did. Once, you get, once you're at a certain point, you can draw, You can pretty much draw anything. It's it's the, the approach on how you draw. i got to look at the holes in his mask a little differently. I can draw everything. Look what you did. <laughs> Zero Connection on YouTube asks, Hey Aaron, love your animation tutorials. When animating, how do you transition from one scene to another without it coming across as disjointed or jarring? You know, you, you, it's, it, it's, it's the art of cutting. So that's something you'll learn in storyboarding and cinematography. And it's, there's a certain way that you cut that... Uh, Sorry, I'm trying to get my character here. There's a certain way that you cut that um, allows it to not feel jarring. One one thing in particular is when you cut from one shot to the next, you want your, as much as you can, if you want it to feel like it's flowing smoothly, then when you cut to a new shot, make sure that the, the area of interest is in the same spot as the last shot so the eye doesn't have to jump across the screen that's way to keep things moving smoothly but if you want something to be jarring then you can 
cut and it's in another place on the screen and you and you have to catch up so there's all kinds and that's just one tiny example there are so many different ways of cutting and uh setting up shots to make them feel uh smooth for lack of a better way of saying it what is the most tedious part of the animation process uh well i mean i got to do 24 drawings per second Instagram. It's a lot of drawing. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Instagram question. <clears throat> How did they assign directors for films back in your day? Did the company choose people or do you pitch an idea and request to direct it? Or do people vote? How does it work? It was, it was either the executives chose somebody, which wasn't very often. Um, the most common way was d people that had already proven themselves would, uh, pitch an idea and then it would, it would get made. So, uh, as a, as a, you had to, you had to kind of have a track record already, um, in order to get a position. And so it was hard to, to get in as a new director. Um, but if you, you know, if you had a, a really great idea and you could genuinely demonstrate that you could execute that idea, then you'd get me you'd be given a chance and, you just, and they let you you know they don't say right away okay you're going to direct this what they say is all right why don't you go ahead and develop this and let's uh, take it to the next level and let's repitch it and let's see where we're at well and, and in your case that you also did a goofy short it's a halloween short appropriately how to haunt a house yes um, and that was kind of uh to get your feet wet right? it was a little bit it was really it was that was really out of just a matter of there was some, I can't remember what it was. There was another division that needed it done. And so we volunteered it and bingo, it got done. But um, I'm going to turn that off. Uh, for people who don't know, we've been running a big sale over at Teacher Art Teacher on our animation lessons and on our character design course. We've got a little commercial about that. We're going to run it real quick and uh, enjoy. And then we will be right back. Justin, do the thing. Hey everybody, Aaron Blaze here, and I am hard at work right now. We're creating a new course uh, on how to use Procreate's new animation software that's coming out called Dreams. We are neck deep in it. I'm having such a great time animating in it, and I can't wait to show you guys how to do it. Meanwhile, I want you to know that over at our website, CreatureArtTeacher.com, my character design course, which is a 16-hour course, over 20 videos, that is still $1 right now. And uh, you can get that, once again, at CreatureArtTeacher.com slash learn. And also, my animation courses are all $10 or less. So, my animation on paper course is only $5, and I take you through all my methods of working on paper, how to flip the paper, uh, how to create a bouncing ball, how to do a flower sack, creating dialogue. I take you through charting and exposure sheets. It's a really fun course. Also, I've got my acting for animation, the fundamentals of animation. I take you through a scene approach. So go on over. If you want to learn animation, learn character design, or learn art in general, go on over to CreatureArtTeacher.com and check it out. Meanwhile, I'm going to get back here and I'm going to create this course and I can't wait to share it with you guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Hello, everybody. And we're back. And we're back. We're back. Hello. So yeah, little... that sale, uh, our character design course is only $1. And like Aaron's acting uh, for animation course is on sale. And his animation on paper course. And uh, the animation portion of that ends this weekend. So get in there while you can. Get it while it's hot. Get it while it's hot. So I thought I'd put a little streak of red clouds through the through the image a little subliminal it looks like one of my uh um one of my good friend one of my good discord friends uh i play video games with all all the time uh on the weekends uh he actually uh was sending a question through facebook uh unfortunately uh he's not watching the stream anymore he has to go back to work but i figured uh he would watch the playback so i figured I'd relay the question for him sure um i was wondering what would be a good start to get into digital drawing because I currently only do pencil shadings on a sketch pad. 
Um, I would get some kind of tablet that can carry a drawing app. If you can swing it, I think an iPad is really great. And there's all kinds of wonderful drawing and painting apps out there. My favorite being Procreate. And uh, I would start with that. And if, you know, if that's not something that you can swing, because uh, iPads are not super cheap, um, then, like I said, there's, there's other lower-end apps out there that you can use. Uh, but I would... Um, I wouldn't depend so much on uh, having to go digital. I, mean, I would continue to work on, on uh, paper as well. I still do a lot on paper. I love it. I love working on paper. <clears throat> JC84 on YouTube says, or asks, is the work of a storyboard artist similar to that of a comic book artist? And by the way, I've been a member since February, and I've learned a lot as a beginning artist. Thank you for what you do. Ah, thanks. Uh, yes, it's very much like a comic book artist, except, you know, you're, the difference is you're taking a, well, I guess it's not really a difference. The difference is you're taking single images and letting them play, uh, it, it's the element you know, of time. sequentially over, yeah, uh, cinematically, whereas... You know, in a comic book, you're having to guide the eye through pages, and you're still you're still doing that somewhat sim uh, cinematically as well. Typic um, typically speaking, with there's ways around this, but typically speaking, obviously with with a storyboard artist, you're dealing with a fixed panel size because it's a fixed it. panel size, and you're thinking sequentially as well yep. uh, as far as um, how it's going to play cinematically. You, once again, you still have to think sequentially as a comic book artist. But it's a different type of sequential. Yeah, you have to you have to be much more concerned with the idea of time and editing in storyboard art. Yeah. Are there any questions you guys often dodge or don't want to answer? <laughs> Next question. Next question. <laughs> Just gonna say. Next question. <laughs> dodge that bullet. <laughs> Um, Ray on TikTok asks, uh, have you ever done a setup slash desk tour? If, uh, yes, if not, would you ever? And the setup is lovely. Yes, we have. We'll do it you again. Can find it on, on YouTube. I think it was about, I think it's about what a year, two years old. Yeah. We went through the whole studio. How is the volume two book coming along? It is coming along swimmingly. We just looked at. Our first set of proofs, we had some notes. Yep. So they're making some adjustments. We should have the next proofs next week. <clears throat> and then, presuming those are final, which we expect them to be, we go to press and we're hoping that basically four to six weeks after that, we're shipping. So yeah. That's, that's the so we apologize timing. for the lateness of them, but they're going to be great. We'll be shipping before Christmas. I can say that. Uh, would you ever draw a comic? Yes, matter of fact, Nick and I have talked about doing that several times. Uh, Mustafa asks on YouTube, <clears throat> which of the two films, Aladdin or Beauty and the Beast, took more time to make? Because I know both had to be redone again from scratch after spending a lot of time working on the first version. You know what? I can't remember. Uh, I think they're both about kind of the same. I don't remember them being that different. Uh, and the amount of time, you know, I, as an animator on those films, I was only involved in the animation of, of them. Yeah, There's so much other time spent in, in the making of those films beyond just animation. Yeah. You spend way much more time in pre-production on a yes. film than you ever do in production. Yeah. Which includes the writing. So, um, I'm not sure how much, how much time was taken. So yeah, I'm, I don't know. Here I'm breaking up the clouds. It got a little repetitious for me. How would you describe Procreate Dreams? Would you consider it a professional app? Yes, I would consider it a professional app, and I would also uh, I would go so far as to say I think you can make a feature film with it. If someone's asking, is this Procreate Dreams? No, this is uh, Photoshop. So. I, I'm and uh, we're gonna try to put our money where our mouth is. We're going to uh, uh, 
when we get into dreams, I think in the future down the road, we're going to, we've got some big projects that we want to do with that. And, uh, and we're going to be using dreams. Now that's not to say we're not going to continue using TV paint. We we are, love- oh, I, I love TV paint. Yep. It's a different platform altogether. And, uh, they both have different strengths and dif- different weaknesses, yep. you know, but for an affordable entry level thing, the idea of an iPad and, uh, and procreate dreams and you can produce professional level animation out of it. It's, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. So we're in the middle of creating a, um, a course on how to use it that we're going to release at the same time that the, the uh, course comes out. I mean, the, uh, the software comes out and a uh, matter of fact, they just came out. Uh, I don't think to, you're allowed to say that. Oh, so we're going to talk about something else and, <laughs> But uh, they're always, they're continually um, updating it and making it better, making it better. And so they're they're doing a great job with that. And um, we're super excited to share the whole process with you guys. Yeah, we're so Aaron is a beta tester for the app. So we, we've got access to it already. And they're definitely improving the features as, it's, as they're ramping towards release day. We can say that for sure. Fun Film just hopped in. Hey, Fun uh, Film. On, on a TikTok says, hey, Aaron, Nick, and Dustin. Fun Hi. Film. And also says, uh, this drawing is awesome, Aaron. Uh, Aaron, I love it. <laughs> Glenn and Snow Bear are getting in the Halloween spirit. <laughs> all right. So now that we've got that, I've got all my base color in. Um, let me see here. What a, let's throw in a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, uh. And a little bit of... Uh, Edwin wants go. to know on YouTube, were you scared of directing a movie at first? Yes. I was uh, I was petrified. First I was afraid. I was, I was petrified. petrified. Kept thinking I could never live without you. Hey, come on, guy. Uh, hey, guy. Twitch question. <clears throat> uh, regarding production, how involved were you in the dubbing of Brother Bear? I assume they mean the international uh, Not, not, uh, Not at all. To be honest with you, I now, wasn't involved with it at all. Now the American cast recording, you were very yes, involved in that. Yeah, I was very involved in directing the the original cast for making the movie, obviously. But um, as far as the the international, we have Buena Vista International has a whole division uh, for in, in every country. I think we dub into forty two different languages. Um, it's it's really well done and they've got great casting director direct directors and uh session directors in every in every you know country there's a package that dropped off in the front ah thanks uh kirk wants to know on facebook aaron nick and dustin will you all be dressing up as christmas characters for a very special christmas live stream (laughs) does christmas fall on friday this year i don't know Good question. Um, I will say this. I'm probably not working on Christmas. I'm just going to go ahead. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we're not working on Christmas. Oh, Christmas is on Monday. So Uh, the Friday before, we can totally do that. Oh, yeah. Second. Dad dresses up as Santa, and you and I will uh, dress up as as his uh, elves. elves. Yeah, sure. (laughs) I'm all in. That's funny. Vedanta can be Mrs. Claus. Steve walks in as Rudolph. Mm -hmm. I like it. The big, big blinking red nose. Is it too late to get a signed copy of Volume 2 book? No, it is not. If you pre-order Volume 2, we're extending the uh, signature portion of this. So as long as you get in on the pre-order, you're going to be able to get a signed copy. Once it's out, that changes. Uh, do you prefer working as, a, as an independent animator or yes. in a large studio? I prefer independence independence day i um i miss i do miss the friends that i had i've got but i love the people i work with now and i love the freedom that we have um and i would i don't think i'd ever go back uh is procreate sponsoring you it'd be cool if they did uh no i wouldn't say they're sponsoring me uh we we did the um What'd you call it? We did the Penguin Project as a commission. Yes, so it they, was a commission. So it was it was a job. It was a but we're, they're not really sponsoring. 
Yeah, they're not paying him to say anything nice about dreams yeah, going forward. Yeah, not at all. Like, what what would it be if um if they if they were uh, uh, sponsoring? Like, they would be paying us to for us to say, "Hey, this is sponsored by blah blah blah." Yeah, if, if that's basically what a sponsorship is, right? Right. Yep. Okay. No, Aaron. Aaron's just a big advocate for stuff. When he finds it, he promotes it. So I do. Uh, I, so I really love it. He's been a huge champion of TV paint. If you become a member to our website, you, you can even get a discount on TV paint. Um, he loves Wacom products, so we promote the heck out of those. Uh, but that's all self-guided because yeah, it's what I, he like, uses. I like I like people. I like companies that create great products, and I like young small companies that are entrepreneurial. You know, like the the Arties. You know, I really love those guys. They they created a great product, Where the art there? bags, yeah, right there, hanging up there. And actually, I'm going to promote them. Let's promote them right now. Lilo Rosh. Lilo Rosh. Com. Just grab the yeah that one right there. So these are made in uh, our friends made by our friends Lilo Rosh, L I L O R O S H. dot com. Um, they make these wonderful art bags, um, and they're all custom made. And uh, this one's falling. I, I, this one I pulled everything out of, but you can see for those on TikTok, they're just beautiful and they're really great. Uh, nice large bags inside. Here they are. If, if you go to the oh, you got it, yeah, Dustin. I got, I got it. So they open up. You can put all your art supplies there, all your pens, pencils, paints, brushes, whatever you want, and then you can put your. Uh, uh, your drawing pads in there um and it it's magnetic so it closes right up nice and tight and i love the flexibility of it and yeah. so i've got like three of these that i've taken all over the world yeah they're phenomenal art bags and they're a husband and wife team out of india I believe. yes and uh, so go check them out go to go to rosh.com and um gosh they're really great it's great stuff Again, they're not a sponsor, just great stuff that we like. Yeah. I love to promote good products. What we kind were... of... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Speaking of promoting good products, we've got a sale going on over <laughs> at teacher.com. Uh, this weekend is your last weekend to get in on our animation courses being all $10 or less. So if you go to creatureartteacher.com and get any of our animation courses, they're all $10 or less. Uh, our character design course is only $1.00. Aaron's uh, animation on paper course is five dollars. We've got courses from Tim Hodge that are five dollars. Um, we've got an amazing visual development course from Armand Serrano that's only ten bucks. And if you use that promo code this weekend, Lucky Thirteen, you can take an extra thirteen percent off your entire order. Uh, Facebook question: Aaron, do you have a favorite Disney sidekick? Favorite Disney Kronk. <laughs> And Baloo. Oh, it's it's all coming answer. together. Would Baloo be considered a sidekick? Um, uh, I don't know. He No, I wouldn't call him a side Side character, yeah. maybe, but not sidekick. <laughs> Actually, he, in fact, if you're going into, like, the Joseph Campbell, like, myth world he'd be kind of, he's kind of more like the mentor isn't he like he's like the obi-wan in a way yeah in he way, is yeah actually. he, he is kind of takes Mowgli under his wing and teaches him the ways of the jungle and truth or the bare bare necessities. Necessities. i know uh, last night on our tiktok stream <clears throat> you answered a question about the um you the okay? disney remakes and you said yeah you do don't usually care for them but i do still stand by that jungle book was a great remake it was no, I, yeah, and I I probably should take back the the it blanket statement that eight. I made, but uh, no, I I agree with that, and I, I, for me it just it, and that one that one felt well that one was more of a remake of the of the animated version, but for me if you don't have anything new to say you know once again I go back to what I was saying earlier though I understand why they're doing it I get it you know it's um, everyone goes well it's such a money grab of course it's a money grab. It's supposed to be a money grab. They're a corporation that's supposed to <laughs> make money. And I get it. And I understand the frustration, too, though, from the from the uh, standpoint of the audience. But, you know, it is what it is. 
Uh, yeah, and this is something we've talked about. Kirk on Facebook asks, Aaron and Nick, I think an animation course that deals with animating to music would be very useful. Yeah, you know, I don't know if it's an entire course, but it's definitely a, a chapter videos. that I need to expand on, for yeah. sure. And uh, and speaking of Kronk uh, from a little earlier, uh, Jessica uh, Cheslock on TikTok asks, uh, do you consider Kronk a villain? My favorite part is when he sings his own theme song. I know. <laughs> um, you know, it's funny. If he wasn't involved with Isma, he wouldn't be a villain, I don't think. That's my opinion, anyway. Yeah. Um, well, he got his own movie as a sequel. So. Oh, that's right. Didn't yeah, he? he definitely wasn't a villain in that. So I would agree 100% with that. Yeah. He's just there for the ride, man. As long as I get to cook, I'm good. <laughs> uh, how was Brother Bear colored? Was it uh, digitalized? And if so, what program was used? It was, it was, uh, hold on one second. It was digitally colored, uh, but it was proprietary software that Disney had developed in the, oh, called, in called the CAP system. And caps is an acronym. I can't remember. Yeah, it's, like it's color, color, color animate, color in. I don't know. I can't remember what it was. Coloring animated computer pixels. animation production system. There you go. Ah, caps. But, but it wasn't. But it wasn't computer animation like CG. It no, was it wasn't for coloring. Uh, what movies have you worked on? I worked on a couple of Roger Rabbit cartoons that were shorts, not the feature. And then I worked on The Rescuers Down Under was my first feature. And then I went on where I did like some of the prison animals and Cody. And then I went on to uh, Beauty and the Beast, where I was one of the animators of the Beast uh, under Glenn Keane, who was the supervisor of the Beast. And then I went on to... Um, uh, Aladdin, where I did uh, Raja, was my first character ever given to me uh, to supervise. So that was a fun role. And then um, after that, and I did a little bit of Jasmine in there, um, I went on to The Lion King, where I created young Nala and animated her in the film. And then I went on to Pocahontas, where I teamed up with Glenn Keane again and uh animated the character pocahontas and then let's see what else did i do and then we went on to mulan where i created yao and the ancestors uh the you know the ghosts the ancestral ghosts created them and then went on to uh after mulan i uh directed uh brother bear so that was really cool and that's that's basically my background. Speaking of Brother Bear, Aaron, uh, what are your thoughts on Brother Bear Two? I personally think this uh, the original was much better. That's from Fox Arts on YouTube. Yeah, the Brother Bear Two. You know, the, when they make sequels like that, they're all um, they are uh, they're planned ahead of time, and they they're basically a, a you know kind of a money grab, but it's meant to be. They expected the, the the film to do well enough to warrant a sequel, so they they plan these sequels before the the original is even out. So, you know, I was still making uh, the original Brother Bear when they came and pitched me uh, the sequel. Now, I didn't have any. It was it was more out of a it was a courtesy pitch because there there wasn't any. I wasn't going to say no, don't do that, and they were they were going to listen to me. It was just a courtesy pitch to show what they were doing, and um, and that's how you know that's what they did pretty much on every Disney film back then. Uh, Komojo on YouTube asks, when you designed Young Nala, how did you collaborate with the people designing Young Simba and also Old Nala? We would sit in a room together actually, and and draw. So Mark Hen, who created um, Young Simba, Young Simba, uh, was in the studio with me. Uh, there was two, two different studios. There was a studio 
in Florida and a studio in California when we were making The Lion King. And um, Dustin, can you shut that door? Because that's really loud out there. I right, make sure you bring the fan in. And uh, um, there we go. And so we would sit in a room together and draw, and then we would share the drawings with the other animators in California and the directors who were based there. I don't know if that's going to be too loud or not. Loud, yeah. Maybe we just turn off the. Or, no, just open the door back up. Maybe they're done. Was, uh, Sorry, was guys. It was just we had some loud stuff going on. Out Anthony there. DeRosa, the, the supervisor of Adult Nala. That's what it says on mine. Yes, and Tony DeRosa was the supervisor of Adult Nala, and um, uh, but I also I did Serafina also. She was only in for a couple of shots. And I, but that's Ser- Nala's mother, right? It's Nala's mom. Yeah, I did Serafina. The bath scene, right? Yes, I did. I did the bath scene. That was so much fun to animate. I really, really had fun doing that. Uh, who oh, animated? Some. Uh, do you know how to handle that? If. Oh. Sorry, guys. We got someone calling while I'm doing a live stream. Probably Marshall Blaze. Yeah, we lost the uh, TikTok speed uh, for a moment back. there. Yep. Are Sorry, we back up? Sorry, TikTok. We had a phone call. Uh, the live on TikTok is paused. Give it a second because it takes a little bit. Back. It takes, it's it takes... thinking. Still thinking. Is it showing over live on? We'll just keep working. There we go. I can see. Uh, did you ever do any background voice acting at all? No, I've done a lot of scratch voices for uh, for our character for our uh, films. Yeah, doing scratch voices is fun. It is. Dustin's done some for us. I only, I only did it once, but it was it was an incredible experience. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah. Trying to get the right the right voices down and all that. What was the last hand drawn animated film that you worked on? I, I assume they mean as an animator. The last hand drawn animated film was Brother Bear. That was the last one. Now I did. There was only one or two animated features at disney after that right yeah that's right the range and then and then princess and the frog right now i did a commercial back in 2013 that was hand drawn and i did it on paper uh for john lewis uh department store in the uk the christmas commercial the bear and the hare um that was done on paper and then it was scanned and then they uh you know they printed everything out on board and put it into a live action set, which was really cool. Miniature set, stop motion set. And then as far as other films, you've you've done 2D animation work for 3D films like character studies, like you did for Ferdinand the Bull. Correct. And you've done character design work for Wolf Walkers and some other Correct. things like that. Yeah. Um I don't like that. But as an animator, Brother Bear would be Right. Uh, is that a walk of 27 pro this is a 32 pro they don't make these anymore but um it's a yeah it's a 32 pro oh hey um is it okay if i make my my big announcement sure yeah go for it so as of uh yesterday uh my future hummingbird pack has officially been greenlit and so that'll be coming out next week yeah, yeah, we're gonna have a new artist photo reference pack at Creature Art Teacher, uh, which is D- uh, Dustin Blaze's hummingbird pack. Yep, he it, got some amazing hummingbird reference shots. Yeah, it's the very it's the very first of a singular uh, types of species. It's of uh, female and adolescent male ruby throated hummingbirds that we saw up in uh, New York on the uh, lakeshore of Lake Champlain. Yeah, we went up to New York uh, this past summer and. Um... 
rented out a house on this lake and every day these hummingbirds were coming in all day long and feeding and Dustin just he set up his camera and basically didn't move the whole time we were there. Well, not the the whole time. I didn't move. <laughs> but it was pretty. It was either, pretty close for, for, yeah. good, for a good chunk of it. Yeah. Yeah, you were and, you um, were cranking, man. That was awesome. Yeah, but but uh, in the end, for this particular pack, there's thir there's going to be thirty six uh, really high quality uh, photos, and uh, there and also this will be the first. Uh, pack and you got video. Have, uh, video footage. Uh, it was going to have four slow motion videos. Um, and so they could be used for uh, local motion for understanding how the wing wings operate when when they're uh, while they're in flight. So uh, and hopefully it'll be really good. Uh, good knowledge. Do you where where what what are they under um, in your folder? It's under my my folder under um, Dust and Blaze. Yeah. Female and oh, female! You changed female the name. There it is. Yeah, change the name. There it is. Let's look at. Let's look at a video. Just to show you a little bit of the reference he was able to get. Go full screen on that. If you yep, can. I'm going to. Really great video reference. He was shooting this at a really slow motion. Yeah, but, um, I believe this was at a 240 frames per second. I had to shoot at 1080p uh, uh, resolution for that. Just but, really, really awesome. Really great video footage. And uh, so we've got several videos in the pack. And um, and then 36 really high-end uh, photographs that he was able to take. So these are really cool. So let me click out of this. I want to show... Uh, and show some of the photos. Show a photo or two. Just a, it's gonna look at that. How beautiful is that? So we've got some really, really great photos. I don't want to show too many because I want there to be some surprises in there. Yeah. But um. Yeah, I I uh, really I made stuff. a post about it on my uh, Instagram below, just uh, right before we started the stream. So if you want to see. A few like uh, I posted two photos and one of the other videos on on my Instagram at uh, Dustin underscore Blaze. If you'd like to go and uh, see what the other uh, photos are going to look like, and uh, and once again, it's going to come out next week. So very excited. Hope you guys enjoy. Which reminds me, a couple years back, Aaron actually did a fun little video on YouTube where he talked about hummingbird flight. I did. That's and right. He compared, oh. And he compared that against, say, butterflies. So if you look up Aaron Blaze, um, hummingbirds and butterflies, you can find that video. Actually, I can post a link to it. In the I video. completely forgot about that. Yeah, remember when we did that? God, how long ago was that? A couple years ago. A couple years anyway. I posted a the link in the anyway. comics comments on youtube twitch twitter and uh facebook awesome uh thoughts on studio ghibli i love studio ghibli yes likewise i was lucky enough to go to the studio uh back in 2004 and visit with uh Miyazaki and meet him and um it was a very wonderful experience now someone just on youtube asked how would you animate that type of wing speed check out the link that i showed on the hummingbirds because that's that's it's a exactly very what it's, he talks about. it's a really fun way of doing it this is concept art this is just a fun piece for halloween yeah this is just a fun Trying to be funny. Do you still have the number one layer anywhere? The what? The number one version layer. The... Oh yeah, the screw, the the rough layer. Yeah. Well, the other, the other image. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I've still got that. I want to recap for people that came in late <clears throat> what we're doing today. So, uh, today is October Friday the thirteenth for people just joining us, and uh, so we thought it'd be fun to do kind of a Friday the thirteenth inspired image. And so at the beginning of the stream, we let the audience vote. Aaron had two concepts. Uh, this was number two, which ended up winning. And the number one concept. Number con one concept. I got to turn all these off. Hold on one I second. I don't know if it was on the same layer or not. Sorry. 
Yeah, here's the number. We turn these off and turn all these off. And and this was the number one idea. It was the, the same idea re reversed. Yeah. And the yeah. audience voted for <clears throat> for the one we're doing now. Uh, but I love them both. I, Aaron thinks he might go back and finish this one, too. So Yeah. yeah. Why so not? Happy early Halloween, everyone. Uh, how and how long did it take us to uh, to work on this? Uh, someone's asking. Oh, we've been on it for uh, an, an hour. hour. It's only it's only one oh six. Yeah. So a little over a little over an hour, and you rendered all, all that out. Yep. So now we got to go and hit the highlights. I'm just waiting for the holy crap! You draw so fast. <laughs> Speaking of Friday the thirteenth, we are running a big sale over at Creature Art Teacher right now. <clears throat> this weekend, uh, we've got a bunch of stuff on sale. But if you use promo code Lucky Thirteen, you can get an additional thirteen percent off your entire order. So even sale items, anything that's in your basket, whether it be physical merchandise like mugs and prints. Uh, you can get that creature print as a uh, as a print, for instance. We've got some other Halloween-inspired ones, plus lots of non-Halloween-inspired stuff. And uh, also good for all of the classes, photo packs, Photoshop brushes, what have you. And our character design course is just $1 for a limited time. That's an amazing deal. That's a 16-hour class, over 20 videos, $1. Get it while it's hot, because that's not going to last too much longer either. Better get it while it's hot. Martin, hot cotton. Martin, on, cotton. Cotton. <laughs> Martin on Facebook wants to know any plans to do another watercolor live workshop. The last one was, my, was one of my favorites. Uh, yes, we would love to do that. Ask and you shall receive. If that's something you guys are it's, looking for, then we'd love to do it. It's not immediate plans, but we, no, but but we we'll, definitely will do one. We'll get something like we'll, that in there. We'll probably get one more of those uh, weekend events in before the end of the year. We're due. Our next uh, watercolor workshop will be up uh, uh, up in An Antarctica. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to do a watercolor up there? Like your your everything freezes. Everything everything would freeze the moment you take it out of the bag. <laughs> now our Antarctica is down there, not up there. Oh, I forget that. <laughs> Well, technically, it's relative. I'm fired. Right? It is relative, right? <laughs> I, I'm going to head out. <laughs> it's a sphere, so... It's how a sphere, do you... so down. So whichever direction you go, down is up and up is down. I think I'm going to keep the drawing. Well, no, maybe I'll keep it on. Yes. Using live polar bears and penguins as reference. <laughs> Nicole on YouTube says, Hi, I just discovered your channel through the Dream Animated short film. So awesome. You made me super curious about Procreate Dreams. Ah, uh, thanks. Thanks for coming in and saying hi. We're actually working on a course on procreate dreams right now well not right now we're we're doing this live stream right now but when we're not filming this we've already we've been hard at work filming a procreate dreams course <clears throat> which is scheduled to come out when the software comes out on no, november yep. 22nd november 22nd and if you become a member over at our website <clears throat> which is we like to say the best value in art education get you access to all seven we say it because it's true it's true get you access to all 700 hours of uh, our art classes over at creatureartteacher.com, over 700 hours at creatureartteacher.com, plus all of the brushes, gets you all of our live events, gets you our twice weekly snow bear live streams. But in addition to that, if you become a member at Creature Art Teacher, you're also going to get the Dreams course released early. Yes. So you're going to get that before the software comes out. So you'll have an opportunity to hit the ground running when the software is out. Heck yeah. Now, um, you don't have to become a member to our website. We we sell all of our courses a la carte. So I want you to realize, you know, we just try to make it, you know. Well, some of the member benefits, you know, I'm making Snow Bear. Um, I'm making this film Snow Bear. Actually, we might show a little clip of it here in a little bit. And um, uh, one of the benefits you get as a member is that you can join me every Tuesday and Thursday starting at 10 a.m. Eastern Time 
Uh, and usually I go for about three or four hours and um, I'm making the, the film. So you can tune in and watch. We've got a great little family of folks that come in and, and uh, we all, we've been doing this now for over a year. Um, I've done over, uh, what have I done? About 125? Yep. I think uh, we just had our 125th or 125. Yeah, 125 live streams on that. And we've got a lot more to go, so don't think that you're missing. And actually, if you come in, you can you can Rewind. go into the archives and you can watch those uh, live streams that you've missed. Yeah, those are member-exclusive streams. And we have two membership plans to choose from. We have an annual plan, which gets you everything on the site, plus everything we release over the next 12 months. And it's all yours to download and keep. Or we have a monthly streaming plan if you'd rather uh, do a lower cost up front. And that works like Netflix, so you can stop and start anytime you want, and that gets you streaming access to all of the courses. Yeah, so, yeah. But even the annual plan, it's only $174 a year, and that's for over 100 and, sorry, that's for over 700 hours of lessons, plus all the brushes. Yeah. And then when you join me, I mean, think of it as like a little filmmaking class, because that's, that's the way I'm treating it. I'm showing everybody how to, basically, how to create your own animated short. Uh, is it possible to download the Snow Bear streams with the annual membership? No, they're, they're streaming only the Snow Bear streams, and that partially has to do with because they're private streams. We play music in them. We do all sorts of stuff. So yeah, I mean, you get the whole deal. You get the you you come in and you're joining me the way that I work in my studio. I've got music playing and and uh, we talk about all kinds of stuff. Alexa says, "I love watching those weekly streams and being a member. Highly recommend." Oh, thanks, Alexa. We love having you guys. And, uh, how much is the uh, Procreate Dreams uh, course going to cost? Uh, to be determined, but it'll be less than the price of the software. One million dollars. One hundred million dollars. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, Vermice on YouTube says, <clears throat> just so you know, James Gurney passed on a tip about painting watercolors using vodka if you're in freezing conditions. Oh, yeah, that's right, because it doesn't freeze. Yep. And, you know, you can really enjoy painting. Yeah. I don't drink and draw. And I'd end up drinking my paint water. You do that anyway. <laughs> I do. Uh, will you be at Lightbox Expo for the Procreate demo? Yes. yes. I, I will actually be doing a Procreate demo. Yeah, you're doing the Procreate demo. You're like the big keynote. Yeah, I'm the guy. I'm the guy. I'm the guy. I'm just going in now and adding texture. Reflected light. So our little characters here. Is an iPad Pro needed for dreams? No, it will work on a regular iPad. Obviously with an iPad Pro, you get the larger screen, which is, you know, we'd recommend, but. Yeah, I recommend a bigger screen if you can do it. I wish they made a bigger iPad. I do. If they made a bigger iPad, we'd have it. Manuel says, hi from Portugal. I just started learning animation seriously and got some of your lessons today. Hey, thanks, Manuel. If you want to be like Manuel, go to CreatureArtTeacher.com. Get our animation courses. They are $10 or less this weekend, and this is your last chance to get them for that low of a price. The prices on our animation courses go back up on Monday. You want to be well, man. Be like Manuel. The character design course is going to stay $1, but the rest of the animation courses are going back up. So you still got some time to take advantage of the character design. Be like Manuel, or we won't like you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Renola says, hello from Utah. So glad I could make this live stream. Hello. 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 See, I haven't got, hello, any, hello, haven't got hello. any Instagram questions in a bit. Let me see what we got over there. Are we lagging on Instagram? I just got to jump back over. 
those questions come in a different feed, so it's a little. Should people we be worried about AI if there's if they're just getting started on animation? Uh, are you going to keep AI from letting you animate? It might affect you if you're going to work for a studio. I could see definitely that, but if you want to do your own animation, AI is not going to affect you at all. I don't think. Don't let AI stop you from doing anything. Instagram question. <clears throat> when animating the beast, was it hard keeping the individual fur aligned between the frames? No, it's just part, you know, it's, the fur is no different than costume or anything else. So it's, you know, it's just part of, you know, he was a complex character for sure. So he was a little more difficult than a lot of other characters in the sense of just the mechanics of animating him, but um, the individual pieces of fur weren't any more difficult than any other part of the animation process. Hmm. I just heard from our good friend Kent over at Vermont Puzzles, and uh, I think we're going to do a limited edition puzzle of this image. Oh, wait, did that come? It just got here, but not to just oh. brought it in. So look at this. Oh, Sophie. Wait, wait, wait. What's Sophie's last name? I forget Sophie's last name. So Sophie from the UK, um, we're going to get Sophie's last name. She's uh, watched our Snow Bear project. What's that? Keep. I'm sorry, say it again. Keep. Keep? Yeah, like I'm going to keep that. Oh, yeah. Sophie Keep. So I want to put a put a shout out to Sophie Keep. There we go. Um, Sophie, there's a there's a scene in Snow Bear where uh, our, our polar bear, Glenn, is under the water and he's swimming with an orca. And she took that and she turned it into a little felt sculpture. And uh, turn it all the way so they can see the, the other side because they're seeing the sticks mostly now. Yeah. And it's really beautiful. It just came in the mail today. Sophie, if you're watching, thank you so much. It's really beautiful. Really beautiful. We love it. If you want to pull it up to the, uh, to the phone now for the uh, Instagram photo. Yeah. The There's the TikTokers. But what I was uh, saying before that is I was just talking to Kent, a good friend from Vermont Puzzles, and we've decided we're going to do a limited edition puzzle of this Friday the 13th image. Oh, cool. So we'll, <laughs> have, we'll have that up on sale on the website next week, probably by Monday. We'll get that underway. That sounds Just great. in time for Halloween. And this will be limited edition, so you'll only have a certain oh. amount of time to get it. So, And if you want to see the rest of our puzzles, uh, you can go to creatureartteacher.com slash puzzle, and we've got a whole series of them over there. Yes, my, uh, my puzzle button's not working. Your puzzle button? My puzzle button is very puzzling. Uh, puzzles, plural. Sorry, my mistake. Featureit.com slash puzzles. 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 Like animations? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, not like animations. Uh, hello, Mr. Blaze. I just hello, how you doing? I just want to say that I really enjoyed Brother Bear as a kid and also good evening from Romania. Hey, thank you. That's what I love about these live streams. We have such an international. I know, man. Isn't it great? All over the world. I love it. All around the world. It's <laughs> <laughs> random. Just random. Is that it's that's so Sugar Ray, right? Yeah. They were at Epcot the day I was there. Oh, were they? Yeah, because of the food and wine festival. I guess they. Yeah. Uh, how would you describe your art style? Ugly. <laughs> I um I don't know. I don't know how I would describe it. I'm not quite sure. Where are my here we go? There we go. No, that's too dark. Too dark. Get 
Daryl Art says, uh, hi, Aaron. It's very interesting to see you uh, in so many artistic lives and so often. Uh, my greetings from Palma del Mallorca. Oh, thank you. That's Spain, right? Yeah. That's Spain. Uh, Palma hey, de Mallorca. Hey, Tattoons on Instagram says, I got your character design course today, and I'm so looking forward to learn over the weekend. Thank you, Aaron, and I love your work. Thank you. And Alexander says, I just joined and saw Snow Bear with a knife. This really caught me by surprise. Jeez. <laughs> yes. So. Yes, it's Friday the 13th. It's Friday the 13th. We thought, we thought we'd, we'd go do, against character. Do something fun. We had the reverse of this, too, where uh, the snowman had the, uh, <laughs> the, the knife in his hand and the hockey mask. We did. And, and the polar bear was running away. But the audience voted for this one. So. There you go. But it's just all in good fun. They're just playing. Yep. Think of it like Calvin and Hobbes. Exactly. A confused girl on TikTok asks. Uh, <laughs> that, that's her actual full <laughs> name, a confused girl. I like that. Uh, how many layers do you normally use? Uh, I don't know. Probably 10 or 15. We were doing a stream, was it last week? And somebody said that their record was like 280. Yeah, that's you know, crazy. Like, that's uh that's I'm, crazy that's talk. Much. I think I've I think I've had I think the most I've you okay? put out and da, 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 da. <laughs> I think the most I've done is like 30 layers, like 25, 30 layers, but there'll be copies upon copies and they're they're all like grouped together. Yeah. Things like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I want to try something really quick. Uh, Facebook question. Aaron, who animated Miko and Hades? Miko was Nick Raineri. Hades was Nick Raineri. And uh, Daryl Arts, who was in, who's in uh, Mallorca, says, uh, yes, Mallorca is of the Balearic Islands of Spain. Uh, someone on TikTok is asking. Awesome. Once I become a member, how do I get to link to the, the Discord and the and the live streams? <clears throat> so when you become a member on CreatureArtTeacher.com, it's right in. You'll have when you log into your da account dashboard. They're both both of those links are right there when you log in, right on the left hand side. That was for TikTok, so that hopefully they could hear me because that's over on. That was on the TikTok. It's on the Tiki Taki. We're almost done. Uh, is there any animes you like? Miyazaki. I like Miyazaki. I don't really, really know enough about anime, anime to say who I like beyond Miyazaki, because that's yeah, you, all I know. You more, you more watch the, um, the anime features, not the, uh, not any of the series. Yeah, I don't watch any series. Like, my, my favorite series, though, has to be Cowboy Bebop, and I just like everything from... From the adult series era, like the like the late nineties, early two thousands adult swim animes. Yeah. Like Cowboy Bebop and Trigun and Outlaw Star, uh Eighth MS team, Gundam, all that sort of stuff. Nerd! Whoa, sorry. Yes, I, am a nerd. I don't know where that came out from. I'm a nerd, that's right. <laughs> Akash on YouTube asks, Hey Aaron, I'm a Hungarian from Switzerland. Time uh I left home and I had to drop out of uni and was studying to be an engineer. Since I want to follow my dream to become an animator, is uh, what degree would help that? You know, here in the States, I don't know how it is in Europe. It might be a little different. Um, you know, in, in, in the animation world, you really don't need a degree. Uh, it's about your portfolio. It's a, yeah, it's about your portfolio and your basically whether or not you're able to do the job um you de you demonstrate it by doing it you know obviously when you have things like engineering and things like that that require an education and a degree to show that you've done that education um that's something different but with animation you really demonstrate it by whether or not you can do it and so it's a, you know many of the guys that i worked with uh and many of them from europe um uh, did not have degrees I don't have a degree, but if you insist on getting a degree, uh, an animation degree, you can go to an animation school and they'll give you a degree in animation. 
Scar on uh, TikTok says, hey. 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 Hey, and, Scar. Uh, Daryl Lawrence again uh, says, Aaron, have you ever drawn a Spanish character? Yeah, no. No. <laughs> Sorry, Bear. No, I don't know if I've drawn any Spanish. Uh, is Don Quixote? I think I've drawn Don Quixote. Is Don Quixote considered Spanish? Uh, Jenny says uh, on TikTok says, "Hope you, hope you will be a voice. Uh, hope you will be voice acting for Snow Bear. You have a great voice for a character." <laughs> oh, thanks. What's going on? But uh, no voice, unfortunately, in Snow Bear. It's all, it's all music and sounds. That's weird. Um, there's actually, uh, two similar questions back to back, uh, and I'm just going to merge the two together from, uh, Adrian and, uh, KB, uh, cause Adrian asks, uh, how, how do you build a portfolio? And KB asks, uh, will you ever make a course about building a portfolio? We have done videos on what to put in your portfolio, but that was like 10 years ago. We should probably do another one. Um, Actually, that would be a really good subject to do kind of an extended uh, video for YouTube. So, yes, we will do something like that. But the question now is, what do you include? Dustin, is that what yes. you asked? Uh, how do you build a portfolio? Well, you got to do the work, right? So your portfolio is there to show the work that you've done. And so that's what it comes down to. You've got to put the work in to create the portfolio. So um, that's that would be your job um, in creating... A, a a selling portfolio, something that's gonna really sell you and your work. Oh, here's a cool idea from Alexis. Mm. This makes me want a snow bear calendar where each month Glenn is doing different holiday related things. That's a great <laughs> idea. Yep, and we already got October done. Man, I love that idea. Who is that? Oh, Alexis. We gotta remember that person. Is he a member? Is that the so. same? Yep. Is that the same Alexis yep. I was saying she's a member? Yep. If we put together a port, uh, calendar, we got to remember to send her one. Uh, Mister Nice Cash on uh, TikTok asks, uh, or first of all says, "Love your work." Thanks. Um, do you use Procreate? I do use Procreate. I love Procreate. Erica says, "Aaron, I think you need some extra sky videos to go with cloud lessons." Mm -hmm. You know, I got to just redo the cloud lessons. I think. Oh, we could always do different types of water too. Yeah. Because you did the one wave lesson a long time ago, but there's. Yeah, we got to revisit some of those and expand. Even like the creature design ones, I could expand on those. Uh, Lexi Taylor asks, what would you say is your least favorite thing to draw? A. A. Staple. A staple. A staple. I would hate drawing a staple. <laughs> Just a simple Just a like, staple. Simple square but missing a wall. Yeah. <laughs> uh hey Aaron. Hello from Boston. Hello. Oh uh, Boston. What hey, kind say of hi to your mother for me? <laughs> what kind of <laughs> advice would you give to somebody who loves drawing characters? but finds drawing backgrounds a bit overwhelming. Then uh, force yourself to draw backgrounds and eventually it will come easier. Or if uh, you don't want to do that, just keep drawing your characters and don't worry about it. You know, if if, you know, if, if it's something you want to do as a profession, then yeah, you got to force yourself out of your comfort zone. But if this is just a hobby, don't worry about it. Have fun with it. That's what art's meant to be. It's meant to be fun and enjoyable, and if it gives you anxiety to, to do backgrounds, then just kick back. Instagram comment, I purchased your hair and fur brushes a while ago and just got a chance to use them on my latest Halloween piece, and the straw hair I was able to create with them was amazing. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad you, you like them. 
Right. Yeah, those those brushes are a lot of fun. Yeah. Did you do any work on the upcoming Once Upon a Studio short? I did not. I really wish I could have, but no, I didn't. I think it comes out this Sunday. Oh, yeah. does it? Is it on Disney Plus? Yes. Disney Plus. I'll need to watch that. I started watching the uh the low the season two of Loki. New episode mm -hmm. dropped last night. And, oh, it did? Yeah. Another Instagram comment. When I grow up, I want to be like you. Oh, I want to walk like you, talk like you. Well, when Aaron grows up, we'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I want to let people know who are just joining us. We've got a big sale going on over at Creature Art Teacher this weekend. If you use promo code LUCKY13, you can get 13% off your entire order at CreatureArtTeacher.com. That covers our art tutorials, our classes, our brushes, our photo packs. But it also includes physical merchandise like mugs and prints and puzzles. CreatureArtTeacher.com. Check it out. Use promo code LUCKY13. Today is Friday the 13th. That's why we're doing it this weekend only. LUCKY13. Get it while it's hot. Yeah, baby. Get it while it's hot. And uh, speaking of puzzles, for people that joined late and might not have heard this, we're going to do a limited edition puzzle of this image. If you go to CreatureArtTeacher.com slash puzzles, that's where you can find our full line of puzzles. <clears throat> and this one should be up next week. So I'm going to put a little... time for Halloween. <laughs> We're just turning into Doctor Evil. And it is the monster match. It was well, I think I'm done, you guys. I'm putting You're all done? the little scuffs and scrapes. What do you think? I think it looks great. Let's do the next one. Feel done? <laughs> there you go. Are we are we going strong? No, I was just, I, you don't really have to. We're, we're I could get <laughs> something going. But I'm burned out. It's tooth hurdy. Oh, we've only been on for an hour and a half. Yeah, doesn't it feel like we've been going on for that? Yeah, it does. Sort of like our partnership. <laughs> <laughs> Will your short film be it's on? It's been Disney ten Park? years, but it feels like a decade. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Dustin? Uh, Will your short film be on Disney Plus? Uh, we don't know where I don't know be. where it's going to be, but let's uh, let's show you a little clip from it. Hopefully, it won't uh, stagger. I apologize if it does. I don't know. Not of the latest version. Uh, is that a monitor or a whole computer? It's just a monitor. It's just a monitor hooked up to a computer. And the computer's right over. So this is a little clip of Snow Bear. And uh, and it's skipping a little bit. Let's see if it eases itself up here. It's not really doing it, so I'm going to have to quit out of it. Did you drop the It's the same. It's the same as what you set it to be. Oh yeah. Yeah. I just it just gets bogged, bogged down. Hey, look at that image. So I'm going to pull this back up, and uh, we're going to show you a little clip of Snow Bear. You'll see that he's a much sweeter bear than. This guy that we, cre <laughs> yeah, that we this created here. <laughs> this, uh, this is not canon, as they say. This is Glenn's uh, twin uh, twin brother, Ben. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is uh, Polar Voorhees. So we're going to click to the beginning here. Huh? And uh, I'm going to go here. Yeah. Whoops, wrong one. Yeah. Wrong one. And... Benjamin. <laughs> yeah. Benjamin. So uh so this is Snow Bear. I'm creating the backgrounds, the animation, everything in it, so it's going a little slow uh in making it, but this is what we've done over the last year and three months. Well, I'm not gonna show you everything, but we'll show you a good clip. Yeah, we've been showing too much lately. We gotta hold back. <laughs> True. But like I said, if you uh, if you sign up at creatureartteacher.com and become a member, you can join me every Tuesday and Thursday as I'm making this short, and uh, you can learn how to make an animated short.
Oh, the music. Oh, shoot. Let's just turn it down then. And I'll talk through you. Sorry, we got, I forgot the music. The music is um, temporary music uh, until I get the composer to write the, the actual score. And we're going to get tagged for running music that's copywritten. Yeah. Unfortunately. Sorry about that. Completely forgot. It's okay. But, what um, the heck? But as you can see, what I'm setting up here is our, our polar bear is just wandering the Arctic trying to find a friend. And no one wants to be his friend. Which, by the way, that process of temporary score is how all films get made. So, yeah, all films. Yeah, so, both live action and uh, animated. Yeah, so you'll use a temporary score, and then uh, we're going to be working with a composer to do an original score. Exactly. You know, so you're kind of trying to find pieces that match the mood you're looking for yep. or the tone. Yep, exactly. A lot of uh, good editors, especially in animation, or good editors in general. They actually have libraries of scores from different films uh, to pull from in order to kind of bridge the gap until they get a, a, a regular score, uh, an original piece written. And for people that want to know, this is all animated in TV Paint. And TV Paint is uh, available for Windows and Mac. And it is the same software <clears throat> that Cartoon Saloon, who does Song of the Sea and Wolf Walkers and Breadwinner, uh, it's the same software they use as well. So it's a great piece of software for I love. Animation. I absolutely love working in it. Um, so for me, having TV Paint and then having dreams coming up for uh, for uh, iPad, I'm in heaven. I'm just I'm so excited for these two pieces of software. But this is this is what you can do with TV Paint. Um, it's full. I mean, you can make obviously a full feature with it because they've been doing it, and uh, it's really great. So here he gets the idea, oh, if I can't make a friend or find a friend, then we're going to make a friend. And so he kind of puts together his little buddy. Some of it's not done yet. Like, I haven't finished the painting of that. We've so, got more effects we're going to do as far as snowflakes. Yeah. And, you know, stuff like that. But we're getting there. So, and then we've got a whole bunch more beyond this. But I'm going to stop here. And uh, so there's your little clip of Snow Bear. I don't want to show you anymore. And that is the opposite <laughs> of the image we did today. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel like compositionally there should be something off in the horizon? This image? I don't know what it would be. <laughs> uh, no, I can't figure. No. No. Okay. Uh, but I could blow it up. No, I think. What do you mean? Zoom and pan. No, I could I could make the whole image bigger just no, so no, it would no, tighten it, it up. Looks great. I was just I was just trying to envision if there should be something in the sky in the upper left or something. Oh no, I, I, I was actually going to put Happy Friday, oh, cool. yeah, Happy that's, Friday that's the Thirteenth. That's what I figured. That was the original plan, actually. Oh, yeah, cool. I, not, uh, now I know what you mean. Um, actually, let's go ahead and do that. Um, what was that? What were where, where'd you get that font that you used today? Yeah. The Friday the Thirteenth font. That I it really is, like that. It's, uh, hold on, it is. Let me get. I can. Let me just drop it to you real quick. Okay. Uno momento, por favor. Make little textures in the snow while I'm waiting for Nick. Drop this right over to you. Let me see. <clears throat> I'm going to make are. this blade a little. I think it says it's waiting. You might have to accept it, Aaron. Uh, oh, your uh, airdrop accept. Uh, Uriel uh, Alvarez uh, says, hello from San Diego, California. Hello, hello, I, hello. I already bought the animation uh, on paper. Where where to get the peg bar? Go to cartoonsupplies.com. 
Matter of fact, I got to get more paper. That's all I got left. Yeah, we need to order more paper. Cartoonsupplies.com if you're looking for really nice stuff. If you're just looking to get your feet wet, there's a bunch of peg bars and stuff on Amazon. But um, if you're really looking for professional grade stuff, cartoonsupplies.com. Metal Mania. Metal Mania. Let's see if we got it. Whoops, wrong one. Yep. File. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, there we go. Uh, let's find it. There he is. Metal Mania. There it is. Let's see. Let's go kind of the light blue. Let's see what that looks like. Happy Friday the 13th. Is that what we're going to put? Sure. Let's see. Or like... Friday the 13th, 2023. I don't know. I think happy. KCB. Uh... Don't lose your head this Friday the 13th. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do you do that? I cannot draw at that angle. My hands would go numb. So Aaron draws from his shoulder, which is really important if you want to be a durable artist so if you're an animator and want to draw a lot you don't want to draw from your wrist people draw from their wrist and that's how you get a lot of problems with carpal tunnel and all sorts of stuff if you watch Aaron when he draws it's a little hard to see because you're seeing his face and you're not seeing the reverse angle <clears throat> but he's really making big gestures it's one of the reasons he likes to have such a big screen. yeah I love drawing big and he's drawing from his shoulder that's where the the motion is coming in and his wrist doesn't move a lot and it moves but it's not it's not the main are we oh we can go into get back to the, the t and the h well thank you and then if we go into this is... oh look at that i love it i love it i love it i oh. love it a lot uh, Roy Dan on TikTok is asking, dang, who's reading these? And he's got like a teary, <laughs> smiley face. <laughs> uh, uh, Nick, Nick, uh, Nick and I are currently, uh, we've been juggling between all the comments. Well, Nick has been handling four different sites while I've been uh, focusing on TikTok, but also handling all the scene changing. Yep. So Dustin drives the camera angles and we handle the questions together. And there's way more questions than we can possibly get to, so we apologize if we don't hit you all, but we do our best. And the difficult part is trying to trying to take turns between relaying questions and at the same time trying not to overwhelm father with all the uh, <laughs> father, 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 father dear with all the questions. Hello, father. YouTube. Hello, father. Uh, Instagram comment from. Alex, I purchased your 2D animation and character design certifications. I have my work cut out for me, and I'm enjoying the journey. I'm going to use my own animals as characters in my portfolio. Right on, baby. I like hearing that. That's awesome. Yeah, we recently rolled out a certification program at Creature Art Teacher. It's something we've been getting requests for for years, and we were happy to finally roll that out. We've got a couple more in the works as well. Um, is this drawn in Photoshop? This is drawn in Photoshop. Yes, it is. Uh, do you prefer TV Paint or Toon Boom? You know, I've never used Toon Boom. I've only used TV Paint. Um, I find something I like and I stick with it. Um, so that's all I can tell you on that. I'm... So <clears throat> Aaron was, the reason he went with TV Paint is uh, a good friend of ours, Dom Carolla, who has a animation studio here in Orlando, Premise Entertainment, that works on all sorts of films and commercials and all sorts of stuff. They're who Aaron did the Bear and the Hair project with. And they, knowing Aaron's background, said TV Paint is the program for you because it's the closest to animating on real paper. Yeah. And so, um, and so that, and that's what I had, had come off of doing. And so I jumped over and gave it a shot and uh, fell in love with it. Actually, I'm going to do... I'm going to do one more thing. Another Instagram question. What do you love more, digital art or getting your hands dirty and going old school with pencil and paper? Uh, it, it all depends on my mood. It's my mood, both, baby. Really, right? What's that? I mean, you love them both, right? I do. I really do. Really, I do. Really, I really, I do. Roger, Roger. Roger, Dottie.
Do you think the, uh... uh I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. Um, I don't like it. What if it's at an angle? Oh, that's a good idea. A rotating cylinder. Uh, Seaborn, uh, Dreamer asks, uh, when you worked at Disney, how close did animators and landscape artists work together? Landscape artists? Zero. None whatsoever. Uh, now, if you mean, are you talking about like background artists? Maybe that's what you mean? I believe so. Um, people that, that painted landscapes and that sort of thing, then yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, there's overlap in that. And we actually did a lot of, we'd go out and do landscapes at lunchtime and that sort of thing. A lot of us we're landscape artists. I, I I would consider myself well. I consider myself an artist, but uh, not only do I just do animation and and this sort of thing, but I, I go out and do landscape as well. Julie asks, "This is, or says this is so cool. How did Aaron come up with this idea today?" Friday the thirteenth. Nick reminded me. Yep. And we're going to go into live stream images. Project <laughs> Dolphin. I want to let people know that we've got a bunch of big sales going on over at CreatureArtTeacher.com. We've got our character design course is just $1. $1 for a 16-hour course. It includes over 20 videos. That is only $1 for a limited time. If you go to CreatureArtTeacher.com slash learn, you can pick that up. And while you're there, pick up some other courses because our animation courses are all on sale for $10 or less this weekend. Some are only five bucks, some are ten dollars, some are less. Preacherartteacher.com. And this weekend, in celebration of Friday the 13th and all things spooky, if you use promo code LUCKY13, you can get an additional 13% off any order. Justin, you got a slide for that, right? The yes. LUCKY13 oh, over at Preacherartteacher.com. That will get you an additional 13% off your entire order, and that includes physical items like puzzles and mugs and prints and all that stuff. By the way, we sell that creature image as a print. Yes, um, we do. Yep. And so head to Preacherartteacher.com, check them out. There it is, folks. Happy Friday the 13th. That was fun. We're going to do this as a puzzle. Yeah, so remember our creature uh, creature character design. Holy cow, I couldn't get that out. Our <laughs> character did? design course is on sale for a buck over at CreatureArtTeacher.com. And um, I, had really, I had a lot of fun creating that course. Um, it's basically everything I know about character design. And uh, I've been catching a lot of people on TikTok that are posting their lessons uh -huh. and talking about some of the lessons that they've they've gone through and uh, it's been really positive it's been really cool speaking of tiktok if you have a tiktok account follow aaron over there we do impromptu live streams <clears throat> been doing them pretty frequently lately yeah we'll probably do one tonight it's as well tiktok uh on tiktok we're just aaron blaze art aaron blaze art that's yeah. pretty much where we are on all the social media platforms so yeah. youtube twitch uh, X, Twitter, whatever it is, Instagram, Aaron Blaze Art. So, so check it out, CreatureArtTeacher.com, sales this weekend. Are we wrapping up? We're wrapping up, baby. So thanks a lot, you guys, for hanging out today. And uh, like I said, happy Friday the 13th. Go on out and have a great weekend. Uh, for those of you that are members, we're going to be back on Tuesday. So we'll see you then, guys, bright and early, Tuesday morning, 10 a.m. We'll be making Snow Bear. Otherwise, have a great weekend, and uh, we'll see you back here on Friday. Go on out and put some beauty back into the world, and we'll talk to you next time. We'll see you next time. Cowboy Bebop. Bye. Hey, everybody. Aaron Blaze here, and I am hard at work right now. We're creating a new course uh, on how to use Procreate's new animation software that's coming out called Dreams. We are neck deep in it. I'm having such a great time animating in it, and I can't wait to show you guys how to do it. Meanwhile, I want you to know that over at our website, CreatureArtTeacher.com, my character design course, which is a 16-hour course over 20 videos, that is still $1 right now. And uh, you can get that once again at CreatureArtTeacher.com slash learn. And also my animation courses are all $10 or less. So my animation on paper course is only $5. And I take you through all my methods of working on paper, how to flip the paper, uh, how to create a bouncing ball, how to do a flower sack, 
creating dialogue. I take you through charting and exposure sheets. It's a really fun course. Also, I've got my acting for animation, the fundamentals of animation. I take you through a scene approach. So go on over. If you want to learn animation, learn character design, or learn art in general, go on over to CreatureArtTeacher.com and check it out. Meanwhile, I'm going to get back here and I'm going to create this course and I can't wait to share it with you guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.